and welcome to part three of three parts for my NEMA 1450 installation for my Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus vehicle. So it is installed and everything went on schedule. So this box is what uh, he used to install a 50 amp breaker. He then brought it down here and you can see this little hole here. He fished it through here and I'm sorry for the mess, but there is the outlet. So he placed the outlet uh, here, which is where I wanted it to be. And this is the adapter I showed you the other day uh, that I received from Tesla. So the adapter was $35. The total installation, which was parts and labor, for the outlet was $300 exactly, which based on what I've seen uh, on YouTube is a reasonable price. I also have now installed uh, uh, my, my cable organizer uh, or my holder uh, yesterday. Uh, so I put it up here because it was easier for me uh, to reach and it's gonna go from here to the back of the car and there's plenty uh, plenty of room and the way this works I showed you is that it just simply hooks in here uh, like that that's it uh, holds up if you wanted to you could just uh, lay it over also so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and see how it works so we're gonna charge uh, the car which is down to about 105 miles uh, range left on it uh, so we're gonna check it out so just before I plug it in, just so you could see where we are here, um, currently at 104 miles of range remaining. And uh, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, plug it in. And notice it does take a while for it to ramp up uh, to a reasonable uh, charging rate. So you'll see it'll start slowly, but eventually it'll uh, ramp up. Nothing new or unusual about this. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to take uh, the charger. We'll take it off of here and uh, move it back to the rear of the car here. And we'll press the button as you're supposed to. And there it is. And let's plug it in. It's plugged. The light is blue, blinking blue, and now it's green. So here we go. I don't know if you remembered, but I had been charging at uh, six miles an hour. Uh, so that would have taken me forever uh, to put in uh, approximately 110 miles. Right now it is charging and it's estimating uh, four hours, which is a whole lot different. Uh, right now I, it's uh, showing 241 volts and 32 amps out of 32. So I have a 50 amp uh, breaker and I'm getting uh, 32. You can now see it is starting to ramp up. So right now it's at 15 miles an hour, uh, which is not a whole lot, but as it continues uh, to figure out, you'll see that eventually this will uh, uh, ramp up greatly. So right now it's just jumping back and forth, seven, 15, now it's down to six. But uh, I would just tell you, fear not, uh, and we'll be back in a few minutes to see uh, how we're progressing. This is just a couple of minutes later, so it's not a uh, uh, big advance. Uh, I went ahead and shut off the climate, uh, and that, that's really all I've done to this point. Uh, you can see that uh, we're still uh, getting 250, uh, I'm sorry, 42 volts and 32 amps. We're now at 20 miles per hour and uh, continue to see some modifications here uh, where in fact it's uh, gotten just slightly lower as it's now at four hours uh, to, to ramp us up and so far we've only put a mile on so uh, this is very very early on but um, so far instead of the six miles an hour I had been getting uh, it's currently at 20 and uh, it's still adjusting so as I said before Fear not and uh, keep watching. We'll come back again uh, and hopefully next time we get back uh, you'll see a nice increase in this. 
let's take a look at how things are going now. It's been a few minutes. I'm not sure. I'm going to say it was about five to seven minutes. And a lot of good stuff has happened here. Uh, you see this says 34 miles an hour. Uh, though I think my phone says uh, 35, but that's okay. Uh, so anyway, 30... Uh, uh, yeah, you can see my phone says, uh, oh no, it says 34. So 34 miles an hour, uh, still everything's the same, 241 volts, 32 amps. Uh, I'm now up to 113 miles, but this is a big deal here. The time remaining when we started, if you remember, was, I think it was four hours and five minutes. Uh, it's now three hours to be charged at 90% of, uh, of 250. Uh, I've actually been getting uh, ending at around 218, 219. So I'm going to do one more uh, final check uh, of this. But right now you could see uh, that the uh, using a NEMA 1450 and uh, getting the installation that I've got uh, has allowed me instead of my normal six miles per hour in my garage, uh, I'm now up to 34. And I think eventually this is going to go to 40, uh, though I didn't wait long enough yesterday. So we'll test that out, and then you'll know. And again, so far the cost has been uh, for the plug, uh, the outlet, I'm sorry. The outlet was uh, $300 installed, and it was such a short, short distance from the box. That was one of the reasons. Uh, and number two was the actual adapter from Tesla was $35. Uh, so those two things combined... Uh, I can now take rather long local trips and uh, charge quickly uh, overnight or whenever I want now. So this is going really well. Well, this is the final uh, view. I waited uh, quite a while to come back out and uh, check. We're still in the 35 uh, miles to 34 now uh, range. Uh, in a short period of time, I've added 31 miles. 32 amps, so the 50 amp breaker is, of course, the right thing to do at 242 or so volts. Um, I only have two, uh, just uh, under two and a half hours left if I uh, wanted to uh, to top it off here at 90%, which is where I have it. And uh, this has been great. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with what I've done. And as a final wrap up, uh, let's take one last look at what we have here. We have our uh, plug here, the plug that comes with uh, the Tesla, the mobile plug. And as you can see, uh, I have a, um, I use about two thirds of it. Uh, this holder looks like it's going to be a great find, it keeps it off the ground. Uh, keeps the end of the plug uh, clean, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. And of course, the actual uh, outlet here that I have is uh, installed and running just to the way it should be uh, out of here. And the electrician it was a licensed electrician, by the way, uh, who I was able to find on the uh, Tesla site. So I, I got two bids. And the best bid was from the, uh, uh, the Tesla site. So I, I recommend you at least look at that and make sure you get more than one uh, estimated cost. Thank you and enjoy.